we have now a cube root of a whole bunch of stuff that's in jail. The cube root of 32, x to the 8th, y to the 16th. So I want to look at each of the individual terms, the constant, which is 32, the x variables and the y variables, and start to factor them down so that perfect cubes can be extracted out of them. So I'm going to have the cube root. 32, what's a way to factor 32 so that one of the factors is a perfect cube? Perfect cubes, again, were 1, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. Okay, I'm at 32, so I'm going to make it as an 8 times a 4. All right, the x to the 8th, what is its highest perfect cube that's involved in there? And the kind of way to look about it is I want to look at multiples of 3. So I'm going to have an x to the 6 times an x squared. And then the y to the 16th, I'm going to have as a y to the 15th times a y. So some of those are perfect cubes. Some of those weren't able to be a perfect cube. So put them in their own square root boxes. The cube root of 8, the cube root of 4, the cube root of x to the 6th, the cube root of x squared, the cube root of y to the 15th, and the cube root of y. Cube root of 8, perfect, perfect cubed. Excuse me, I've been saying squares, but perfect cube. 2, and then the cube root of 4. 4 can't get out. Cube root of 4 is not 2. Cube root of 4 is just cube root of 4. The cube root of x to the 6th is x squared with an x squared left inside. Uh, the cube root of y to the 15th is y to the 5th with a cube root of y in the middle. And so there's my solution. 2x squared y to the fifth, cube root 4x squared y. And don't let this x squared or this 4 fool you. If it was a square root world, then we could take them out. But since it's this cube root world, we can't do it.